a very good day to all of you welcome to tashu tech channel have you heard the name prayas promotion of research attitude in young and aspiring students in this video we will explore and understand the guidelines regarding prayas as per the guidelines released by ncert for prayas it is given that to nurture the young innovative minds promotion of research attitude in young and aspiring students scheme is planned by the department of education in science and mathematics ncert for school students this program provides opportunity for the creative minds of young students to realize and recognize the importance of steam science technology engineering arts and mathematics education in real life situation and foster their creative imagination we must understand the area covered for the project under the prayas 2024-25 prayas invites project proposers for carrying out research or investigation on an original scientific idea such as identify and study a local problem investigate a scientific reason behind a local problem attempt to find a scientific solution to any problem and work on any idea imagination conception that intends to generate scientific knowledge now let's see the eligibility criteria for participation in this program the students must be studying in class 9th to 11th single student or a group of maximum 2 students along with a teacher at their school and an expert from any higher education institute should submit a proposal only one entry per school will be considered there must be a teacher with the team of students a qualified post graduate teacher or trained graduate teacher teaching science or physics or chemistry or mathematics and biology to classes 9 to 12th are eligible to become a prayas guide teacher under the scheme there must be an expert as well from an higher education institute or technical institute please note that the project tenure is for one year from the date of commencement of the project in school to completion tentative date of tenure will start from 15 september 2024 to 15 september 2025 for prayas heads of the school and heis for the selected projects are expected to facilitate the project work during the tenure and ensure the completion of the project by the end of the tenure the research work done by the school students will be uploaded on ncert website a grant of total rupees 50000 will be given for each selected research proposal out of this amount rupees 10000 will be provided to the student in case there is a team of two students then rupees 5000 for each student and rupees 20000 each will be given to the school and higher education institute expert as catalytic grant to facilitate the student in conducting the research the grant will be released in two installments the first installment will be released within a month of the declaration of results and will be directly transferred to the bank account of the school and the hei account school need to disperse the release grant to priya students the second installment will be released only after the submission of satisfactory progress report after 6 months here you can see some of the important dates for priya scheme date of announcement 
of Priya scheme was 25th of July 2024 and the last date of submission of application is 25th of August 2024. Screening of applications will be done on 31st August and selection of project proposal will be there on 5th of September 2024. Results will be announced on 10th September and the project will commence from 15th September 2024. Applications received after the last date will not be considered. Now we will see how we can apply for prayas. All the related information is available on NCRT website. The link is also given in the description box of this video. The applicants are required to send their application and project proposal which they intend to undertake online to email id prayasncrt at gmail.com in the prescribed format. For this, an extra one is also given in the guidelines. The link of this guideline is also given in the description box of this video. The format for sending the application in HTML and PDF format is given as an extra one. The students who are willing to fill their application may download the HTML format, fill up the entries by typing or they can download the PDF format and fill up the entries by clean handwriting. After filling up the application form, they may get the form duly signed with the seal by the school head. While developing the prayas proposal, we should follow proper scientific principles or methods as given in the guidelines. The research proposal should clearly state the aim, principle, materials and equipment required, research methodology that will be adopted for the study and the expected outcomes of the research which they wish to undertake. The no objection certificate is also given as an extra 4 and an extra 5. They should be printed, filled up, scanned and then be uploaded in the online form itself. Expert from higher education institute must submit a no objection certificate duly signed by the head or principal of their institution. After receiving the entries, the project proposals will be screened by a committee of experts. The screening process will be based on the criteria adopted by NCRT. For the shortlisted entries, the concerned students and teachers will be called by NCRT for presentation come interview. Presentations can be given with the help of PPTs and charts etc. The results will be declared soon after the interviews on the NCRT website. Please note that only 40 presentation come research proposals, 20 from rural area and 20 from urban area will be selected for release of catalytic grant under Priya scheme. Here you can see the application performa is given as an extra one where we have to fill personal details of student and teachers. Details of expert from HEI must be filled in this performa. Part B refers to project proposal which must be filled for application. All the students of class 9 to 11th are requested to kindly participate in Priya scheme. That's all from this video. Thank you very much.